Tavern wishes the very best to the Tenora Rams. Local farmers, do you need the best crop insurance in the area? If so, Hall Crop Insurance is here to help. Contact Agent Chad Hall at 419-576-6140 for all of your crop insurance needs. Underwriter Nikki Geisiger is also available to assist at 866-341-2767. The staff at Hall Crop Insurance takes pride in their ability to serve their customers. If you need to talk to an agent or have questions about your policy, please give Chad or Nikki a call. Hall Crop Insurance wishes the best to all Tenora teams this season. The following is a special presentation of Tenor Ram Sports Live. With all the action in tonight's matchup, here's Keith Brown. Welcome in to Game 2 the 2023-24 Tenora Lady Rams High School basketball season. Coming up live from Hilltop High School to see Tenora Lady Rams taking on the Hilltop Cadets in a non-league contest. Lady Rams of Tenora come in from the GMC while the... Top Lady Cadets. They come in from the Buckeye Border Conference. Tonight's signs excavating tip off is set for 7 17. Signs excavating offers a variety of excavating and trucking services. Signs excavating can assist with your general excavating services, demolition, and emergency repair work. From driveways to ditch cleaning to site prep, Signs excavating is here to assist. The Signs excavating team is committed to doing the job right, on schedule, and within budget. Based in rural defiance, Signs excavating serves all of Northwest Ohio, providing reliable and affordable excavating services for your home, business, or industrial property. Signs excavating offers a full offering of excavating trucking services, including stone hauling, trenching, demolition, land clearing, and drainage work. Science Excavating is the official pregame sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Winter Sports Season. For all your excavating needs, call Josh 419-769-2290. For heavy haul trucking needs, get a hold of Brad 419-481-3738. Visit them on Facebook or SignsExcavating.com. Last season, that Tenora Rams with a 56-46 win. Lady Rams have won five of the last, or actually won six of the last seven meetings. Quick look back at the 2022-23 Lady Rams. Finished at 11, or 13 and 11. They were four and three in the GMC. Rams graduated the class of five seniors. Sierra Brown, Emily Har, Maggie Noggle, Liv Moeller, and Dakota Schaffner. Rams tonight come in at 0-1, except for a tough 48-35 home loss to a very good Brian Golden Bears team. That was last Tuesday. Addison Lee with nine, and Carly Oakley had eight. 2023-24 edition of the Lady Rams is led by a class of just two seniors, Carly Oakley, who averaged six and a half last year, and Addison Lee, who had four and a half. Six-member junior class, Kenzie Noggle, Awen Blanchard, Amelia Coy, Julia Turfey, Nova Oakley, and Emma Bailey also looks to contribute. As we said, Rams graduated their leading scorer and leading rebounder last year. That was Maggie Noggle and Liv Moeller. Hilltop, they finished 16-7 and, and captured the BBC title in a tie with Holgate last season, each with a 6-1 and one conference record. Graduated last year from Hilltop, three-year letter winner Jima Bailey, Maya Hancock, and Bailey averaged 8.6 points a game. Hancock averaged 10.5. Surprisingly, Hilltop, Lady Cadets come in tonight at 0-3, Season opening losses to Mount Pierre, Pettysville, and Liberty Center. Top players returning, Libby Baker, first team all BBC, 20.8 points per game and nearly 12 rebounds. Molly Dickinson and Kinsley Rout. Newcomers is Elena Van Arsdalen, Bryn Rodriguez, Sophia Crossgrove, and Kelsey Conley. Last season, the Cadets averaged 47 points on offense. They gave up 37 on defense. Hilltop is coached by Bill Williams in his sixth season, assisted by Brett Johnson, JV coaches Kathy Royal, Superintendent Jim Weiss, Principal Stephen J. Riley, Athletic Director Mr. Tony Garrick, Assistant Athletic Director is Janice Bruner, Trainer is Kathy Royal. They are Division IV. Colors for the Lady Cadets, red, white, and black. They are from the Buckeye Border Conference. Lady Rams, coached by Andrew Thiel. Second season 
for Coach Thiel. He is 13 and 12 overall. Assisted by Tracy Roofer and the JV coach, also varsity assistant of Casey Knowles. Great acquisition to get Coach Knowles in from Continental this past season. Ball girls for the Lady Rams are Skyler Roofer and Sagan Roofer. Superintendent at Northeastern Local Schools is Nicole Wells. Principal at Sonora High School is Alex Nofziger. Athletic director is Jake Essig. Scorebook, as Michael would say, the living legend, Barb Weekers. Four decades for Barb at Sonora High School and behind the scorebook over there. Just amazing. Trainer for Tenora is Emily Avomar. Rams colors are 100 green and white. They're from the GMC, the Green Meadows Conference. Lady Rams are Division Three. So wherever you are, however you may be listening, thanks for tuning in to tonight's game live here from Hilltop High School. See Tenora Lady Rams and the Hilltop Lady Cadets. Broadcast booth tonight brought to you by Cut and Polish Hair and Nail Salon. That is located at 413 Hopkins Street. Stop and see Jenny at Cut and Polish Hair and Nail Salon. And game scoreboard dropped to you by Drop Zone Pizzeria and Stryker and Ayersville. Pre-game signs excavating. Video sponsor tonight, which you'll be able to watch that tonight after the game, hopefully, is Patton Stevens in Jewel, Ohio. Your stats tonight, BSN Sports, Mr. Jim Gares. Blocks. Brought to you by Hall Crop Insurance, Mr. Chad Hall. Timeouts brought to you by Clubhouse Pizza and A. Thank you, Jason and Rachel. Post game brought to you by Bidlack Insurance and Financial Investments, Mr. Tim Bidlack. Player of the game, Higby Embroidery. Uniforms, Rams in the traveling green hilltops in the home white. JV winner tonight, Tenora 28-13. David Frank weather overcast over here at Hilltop. Temperature is 38 inside a balmy 70 degrees. And your three-point shots tonight brought to you by Mr. Chad Shock at Aftershock Carts. Thank you for our most recent sponsor, Mr. Chad Shock. Stay tuned. Coming up, we'll have the National Anthem here at Hilltop High School. Top High School will have these starting lineups coming on right after this. Keith Brown, Coach Fairchild with you. Dr. AJ on video, still trying to work through some of his gadgets over there. <laughs> kind of gave up on the stats halfway through the JV game. Yeah, the stat thing was like, oh, that's not happening. Fast pace. <laughs> See one of the JV girls over there, Coach Fairchild, has an ice bag to her face. Yeah, she, uh, I heard her standing here in front of me. She's, she got headbutted. Uh, that might have been when Kaylin March was rubbing her I head. I think so. I think that happened on that far <laughs> side over there. She's going have a nice little shiner. Her eye, above, like right above her eye, her eyelid is uh, really puffy. So she'll, she'll have something to take to school tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. It was Haley Jones, I think, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it might have been. And a senior, number 11. I'll ask Matthew. He'll, he knows it all. I tell you what, they uh, Rams look beat up. I see Christina Meyer. We, you know, we talked about her earlier in the JV game. She's not actually in uniform. Uh, got her finger taped up. See Addison Lee's got a brace on her fingers. She's got a broken finger. Uh, 
freshman wearing so. number 33, Sophia Rostro. Remember back in the day, uh, Keith, when uh, Derek Dravis broke his finger? Yeah, over at Archibald. <laughs> that poor gentleman made about three hospital trips within about <laughs> four month. games. Yeah, about a month. <laughs> <Yes. really. laughs> Remember, he got his, broke his finger, then he got his head split open, had to go get stitches? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah, he shot better, I think, with the brace in his hand. <laughs> Gave that finger a little curve, and man, he was bummer yeah, for that. Poor Derek. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. See what Ashley can do with us tonight. Derek, all date in three sports this senior season. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he was just—he was—he was probably the greatest athlete in high not school. Not only a great athlete, Derek was one of the best kids. Oh, that, absolutely, uh, just, oh, good just an awesome yep, individual. Still is. Derek works at Keller. I just never see him. <laughs> <laughs> Jump ball. Addison Lee with that Kimpy finger against. 6-2, Libby Baker. She averaged almost 21 points a game last year and 12 rebounds, Baker did. Interesting to see her play tonight. First team all-conference, first two seasons. Jump ball in the air, controlled by Hilltop. Baker quickly tips it ahead to Crossgrove. Her shot's no good. Have a follow-up shot up and good by Hilltop's Bryn Rodriguez. 2-0 Cadets on top. Hilltop coming in 0-3. Lady Rams coming in at 0-1. Carly Oakley with the ball top. That's Nova Oakley over to Blanchard. To Carly Oakley on the right side. Julia Durfee. Let's get pass over to Blanchard. She drives. Double team. Kicks it out to Carly Oakley on the left side. Let's get pass. Send it for Julia Durfee. Nova Oakley chases it down right in front of us here. Back to Durfee, top of the three-point arc. Hits Lee at the elbow on the left side. Back to Julia. Durfee over to Nova Oakley. She drives, kicks it to Blanchard. Wide open three. Good. Hey, when Blanchard for three. She had eight in the game against Bryan. 3-2, Lady Rams on top. 7.06 to go. 6-2, Junior, Libby Baker. Gives the ball to Molly Dickinson. Dickinson over on the right side. Gives the ball back to Baker. Baker drives baseline. Has the ball knocked away by Addison Lee. Addison Lee, six, you know, you see too many people at six foot, and you go, yeah, they're going to have somebody taller than them they're playing against us. <laughs> right. Crazy. Shot up by Baker is good. She has her first bucket. Hilltop on top, 4-3. Blanchard over on the right wing, gives it to Carly Oakley, fakes a three. Julia Durfee over on the left side, back to Carly, top of the three-point arc, skip pass over to Nova on the left side. Carly, top of the three-point arc, bounce pass, right side, Blanchard. Blanchard, couple dribbles, throws in the corner to Durfee on the right side, down low to ooh, Addison Lee, gonna have a foul on Baker, went over the top of Lee. That's her first, team's first. 6.21 to go here in the first quarter, 4-3. He'll top up by one. Durfee on the inbounds for Tenora. Julia looks, gets it in to Nova. She loses the handle, kicks it out to Carly Oakley. Carly drives, kicks it back to Blanchard. Blanchard fakes a three, gives it to Durfee. Julia's three-pointer from the right side. Little too strong rebound, Baker. Libby Baker. It's like Magic Johnson out here. Brings the ball across the timeline, kicks it to Rodriguez. Her three-pointer is no good. Ball's on the floor, picked up by Baker just inside the free throw line. Kicks it in the corner to Van Arsdalen. Back to Baker. Baker over here on the left side, guarded closely by Lee. Great job by Addison. Baker brings the ball top of the three-point arc. Now fades over there to the right wing. It's topside Crossgrove. Gives the ball back to Dickinson. Dickinson over on the right side to Rodriguez. Down low, pass intended. Oh, for Dickinson. They say the Lady Rams deflected it. I don't know, I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. Hilltop keeps the possession. 5.29 to go in the opening quarter. Pass comes in to Baker. Baker drives, her shot's no oh. good. Lee hit the deck. Ball's on the floor, picked up by Blanchard. Blanchard into the front court, gets it to Durfee, back to Blanchard on the right side. She fakes a three, drives, kicks it out to Lee. Lee to a wide open Nova Oakley for three from the left wing, no good. Ball bounced around, picked up by Addison Lee. Lee drives oh, left side. That's a second foul on Baker. That's huge. Yeah. Addison. Yeah, she's, she's, she looks confused, but that was, a, that was an easy one yes. to call there. 
Second foul on Baker, second foul on Hilltop, 5.04 to go. 4-3 to three, Hilltop. Addison Lee line to the right. First free throw by Lee is good. Addison with her first bucket. She had nine versus Brian last Tuesday. One more coming for Addison. Three dribbles, right hand shot. A little too strong, hits every part of the rim and falls off, rebound, cross groove to Baker. Baker's gonna stay in the game. It's dangerous, dangerous in my opinion, but. Dickinson hey. in the backcourt, kisses it to Baker on the left wing. Nice pass down low to Dickinson. She loses it into the arms of Rodriguez. Back to Baker. Baker over on the right side, looks to drive. She's double teamed, kicks it back to Rodriguez. Shot by Rodriguez from the right side is no good. Julia Durfee with the rebound. She races across the timeline down the right side. Skip pass to Lee. Lee fakes a three from the left side, kicks in the left corner to Oakley. Carly, skip pass to Nova. Nova's three is no good. Rebound to Cross Grove of Hilltop. Quickly ahead come the cadets. Van Arsdale in shot. Is knocked out of bounds. She was passing that back to Baker, kept cutting down the lane. and uh, Like Noah got her hands up and Nova got her hands up and blocked it out. 4.18 to go here in the opening quarter. We are tied at four. Pass comes into Van Arsdale. Top of the key, close to the right side. Fantastic defense by the Lady Rams so far. They are up in the Hilltop girls' faces. No passing lanes, really no, nowhere to even breathe. Yeah, there's kind of tough man to man. Took, took, some, uh, took some notes from Brian last week. Wow. Van Arsdale and drives left side. Her shot's partially Locked. deflected. Offensive rebound by Hilltop. Out for a three-point shot by Dickinson is no good. Ball's on the floor. Picked up by Addison Lee. She's going to be fouled by Cross Crew. Yeah, yeah Cross pick up the foul. Yep. Yeah, Baker checked out. Smart move, in my opinion. Yes. <laughs> Coach two. Tony Grimes. Two fouls in the first two minutes. Yes. Yeah, it's time to get her out. Tight of four, 3.35 to go here. Keith Brown, Coach Fairchild, Dr. AJ with you here on this Monday night from Hilltop, the unofficial Christmas town of Northwest Ohio, we'll call it. If you've never been over here, make a trip over here some weekend before Christmas. Nova Oakley at the right point. Those are on the left side, the Blanchard. Awen Blanchard. Pass down low to Lee. Lee spins left side, throws up a shot and gets it. Addison posted up down low, spun left, turned right, threw up a shot, and she got it. She's got three Lady Rams on top, four to six. Uh, love, your, it. love that she went up strong with yes, that. Yes, she Keith. did. Six to four Rams on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Dickinson loses the ball, picked up by, should have been a jump ball. Carly had it. Pass down low by Van Arsdale, and she throws it up and in. Tight at six. 2.30 to go in the opening quarter. Pass down low to Nova, kicks it back to Durfee. Three point by Julia from the right corner is no good. And Blanchard knocks it out of bounds. Hilltop gets it back with 2.30 to go here in the opening quarter. Nice crowd over here on Monday night. Uh, Looks like she carried she the ball. It herself. <laughs> <laughs> Pass by Conley down low is no good. Rebound Rams. Nova on the drive. Shot up and in from the right side. Nova Oakley took it herself all the way. First bucket by Nova. She had eight. Another it's move there, Keith. Where Nova, in the past, where I've seen the Rams kind of back off that shot, and Nova just took it right to the hoop. Yes, she did. Nova picked up a foul right at the timeline, tried to poke it away from Dickinson. 8-6 Lady Rams at the 203 mark. Coy's gonna check in along with Bailey. Lee checks out along with Carly Oakley. Blanchard, Nova Oakley, Coy, Bailey, and Durfee on the floor for Tenora. Pass comes into Rodriguez on the right side, and she buries a three. She's got five. Hill tops up by one, nine to eight. Just under two minutes to go here. Blanchard brings the ball up for the Lady Rams to Durfee. Left wing three by Julia Rim, no good. Durfee out to Oakley. Nova turns and gives it to Blanchard. Blanchard eyes a three, shoots it, got it. Got it. 
Awen Blanchard 4-3. She's got six on two threes. Lady Rams back up 11-9. Blanchard hits the deck. Oh. Got bumped into over there on the right side by Dickinson. Going to have a foul on Blanchard. Her first. first team second. 125 to go. Lady Rams up by two. Rodriguez is going to inbound right in front of the Lady Rams bench in front of Coach Knowles over there. Ball comes into Connolly. Ball's deflected I by, by Durfee. Julia Durfee, yes. Thanks for joining us on this radio-only broadcast. We'll have radio again Friday from Delta as the boys will travel over there. Back at home for video on Thursday, Continental. Connolly, nice pass down low to Crossroads. She kicks it out for a three-point shot by Van Arsdale and rolls across the rim. No good. Rebound, Nova Oakley. Oakley drives left side all the way to the hoop. Oh. Got caught around the neck. Wow. Clothesliner. <laughs> it's like a Red Rover back, <laughs> back, in, the, back in the kids' yeah. days. Wow. So Oakley's going to head to the line and shoot two. That's one of those that would be a careful. I don't know how they call those in basketball, but whoo. Foul was on Van Arsdale in her second, team's four. Nova Oakley to the free throw line to the right. First free throw, back rim, no good. The Rams up by two here, 62 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Rams have been playing some stifling defense. I took some notes off of Brian last week and just are everywhere on the court right now. Second free throw, no good by Oakley. Emma Bailey picks it up, shot up from the left box, no good. Rebound Julia Durfee to Bailey. Bailey to Coy, Coy back to Durfee. Right wing three in the air, no good. Hits the top of the backboard, and that would be out of bounds. Goes over to Hilltop with 48.4 seconds to go. Lady Rams up 11 to nine. Rams, nice job grabbing the basketball. Nice job scrapping to get that out of there with the rebounds, but just couldn't get one to drop. Into the front court comes the Lady Rams, Bryn Rodriguez. Another three, this one from the left wing, no good. And Julia Durfee rips down the rebound, comes out of the pack with it across the timeline on the left side. Nice bounce pass down low to Bailey. Emma kicks it out to Coy. Her three ball, in and out, no good. Bailey crashes the board, her shot's no good. Another offensive rebound, this one by Blanchard. Blanchard brings it out. Coach Steele says, one shot. Boy, the Rams are dominating the boards right now. Especially with Baker out. Oh, travel. travel. Yep. Nova grabbed it in the right corner and took at least a step or two before yeah, putting the feet. ball to the floor. 11.9 seconds to go. Lady Rams up by two. Press on by the Rams. Ball's in the backcourt. Dickinson picked up by Coy. Pass down low intended for Crossroads. Knocked away. Five, four, three and a half to go. We have a whistle. We have a jump ball. Ball goes over to Tenora. Three and a half seconds. You may get a decent look here. Blanchard. I can't believe Actually, they're great. Hilltop, hilltop, yeah, hilltop yeah. no press. Just Blanchard like picks it up at the half court line. Throws it up. No good after one at Hilltop. The Lady Rams 11 and Hilltop 9. We'll be back with more after this on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Thanks for joining in here tonight on Tenora Rams Live. Hey you, are you tired of staring at the same digi colors at your home or business? Prosperity Painting is here to help change that. Prosperity Painting is a local painting contractor specializing in interior and exterior painting for residential and commercial homes and buildings. No job is too big, no job is too small for Prosperity Painting. Everything from painting, staining, epoxy floors, and wallpaper removal, Prosperity Painting is here to brighten up your life. And they will make your old look new again. Check out Prosperity Painting and its amazing portfolio of work on their Facebook page. And be sure to give Mike a call for a at 419-789-0939. Prosperity Painting says, Go Rams! Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Back here at Hilltop High School, Keith Brown, Coach Fairchild, Dr. AJ. With you, Lady Rams with a 11-9 win, as Coach said, towards the end of the half there several times. Rams defense like magnets tonight. Yeah, just pretty stifling. I mean, they're, they're in the hip pocket of everybody. On Oh, just stole the inbound Steal pass. by Carly Oakley all the way to the bucket. Carly throws it up and in. That's her first two right on cue. Talk about the defense. Oakley intercepts the pass. Carly batted it off just, the knee. Wow. 
of Bryn Rodriguez as she went across the timeline. <laughs> Two quick turnovers by the cadets here. Durfee flings it into Carly Oakley over to Blanchard. Blanchard to Durfee. Pass down low to Lees, knocked away. Balls on the floor, turnover on the Lady Rams, picked up by Rodriguez and Hilltop. Quickly ahead come the cadets. Dickinson flings it out to Conley. Her three from the left wing is no good. Rebound Rodriguez. Offensive rebound by the Cadets. Conley drives, kicks it out to Rodriguez. A three hits the top of the backboard. That's out of bounds. I'm not sure why that went out of bounds. It goes out of bounds in the corner to Tenor, regardless, but. <laughs> Just underway here, 7.18 to go in the second quarter. Lady Rams 13, Hill Top 9. Thanks for joining us here on Sonora Rams Live on this Monday after, I guess, evening, night, probably now. Carly Oakley's get pass to Blanchard on the right side. Blanchard brings it back to Durfee. Durfee, right point, back to Blanchard on the right wing. Fakes, drives, kicks it back to Carly Oakley. Carly brings it out to the right side. Skip pass to Nova Oakley on the left wing. Nova, free throw line, left side over to Carly. Carly, right side three, misses everything. Addison Lee has it deflect off her fingertips out of bounds. Hopefully it was her good hand and not her bad one. <laughs> she has two fingers taped on her left fingers. Sure doesn't look like it's bothering her though. Not yet. 6.45 to go in the half. 13-9, Lady Rams on top. Rodriguez double teamed at the stripe, and we're going to have a foul on Awen Blanchard. Brent sold that one a little bit. Uh, Rodriguez took a, took a little bit of a took a little bit of a nudge, but I don't think it was uh, just uh, as bad as she made it look. <laughs> a little bit of a acting job there. Yeah, got the foul. That's what she's supposed to do. Hilltop brings the ball in. Ball's knocked away by Coy. Dickinson, down low pass to Crossgrove. Her shot is off the window and in. I feel like she worked a double team there. I think she just kind of threw that up over her head. Kind of a, like half a hook shot. Carly Oakley flings it over to Nova Oakley on the right wing. Let's get past to Carly. Left wing three, no good. Rebound bounced around, picked up by Carly Oakley at the free throw line. Little floater in the lane, rolls across the rim and falls in. Carly's got four. Lady Rams up 15 to 11 as we hit the six minute mark here on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Double team in the corner, Lee, the double team on Connolly. Passing the left corner to Dickinson. Dickinson brings it out between the circles, floats to the right side. Skip pass over to Connolly. Right wing three, no good. Amelia Coy with the rebound. Coy to Carly Oakley. Carly across the timeline on the left side, kicks it to Lee. Lee's left corner three, got it. Addison Lee, nothing but net. This has got six. That three-pointer brought to you by After Shock's Cart. Stop out and see Mr. Chad Shock. Stay Route 15 on your way to Bryan. Timeout on the floor. Hilltop, could that take a timeout? 5.29 to go here in the opening half. 18.11. We'll be back right after this brief timeout. Looking for a venue to host your party? Kyle Nicely of Nicely Rentals and Storage is here to help solve your problem. Located between Defiance and Ayersville, Nicely Rentals and Storage offers a party venue for graduations, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, or any event that meets your needs in the spring, summer, and fall months. In the winter months, Nicely Rentals and Storage offers storage for vehicles, campers, boats, or anything that needs to be stored and protected. Do you need tables and chairs for your party? Kyle can help with that as well. Nicely Rentals and Storage can also help with your move as they now have U-Haul available. Give Kyle a call at Nicely Rentals and Storage. 419-439-6177 for booking information. Out of the Hilltop timeout. 18-11 Rams, 529 to go. Full court press applied by the Rams. Route flips into Knott. Knott! Her pass ahead to Dickinson. Forced a turnover. Sails almost into the hallway here at Hilltop. Turnover on Hilltop gives the ball back to Tenoroff. Rams on the attack. Carly Oakley into the front court over on the left wing to Amelia Coy. Top side, Addison Lee. Right wing to Nova Oakley. Nova back to Carly. Carly Oakley, top of the three-point arc. 
Left wing, Addison Lee, where she just nailed a three. Fakes a three this time, drives baseline. Coy wide open in the right corner. Back to Nova. Nova drives. Hits Carly in the right or the left corner. Skip pass to Lee. Addison tries it from the oh. right side. Nails another three. She's got nine. Another three pointer brought to you by Aftershock Carts. 21 11. Rams, just like that, have a 10 point lead at the 440 mark. Oh, almost steps by Dickinson. Yeah, I that was Still in the there. lane. About five seconds, too. Coy tips. To the way balls on the floor. Picked up by Nova Oakley all alone. Nova drives off the window and it falls in. Nova Oakley has four. Rams on a run here up wow. 23 to 11. They led 11 to 9 at the half. Rams is definitely taking advantage of Libby Baker being on the bench. Yeah, she picked up those two fouls and she is set. She played about a minute or two after that. Then Coach Tony Grimes like, ah, I better put her back in. And you're probably at that point now where you might want to take the chance with 413. <laughs> yep, put her back in here and say, just be careful. There she goes. So Baker comes in at the 413 mark with those two fouls and Hilltop trailing 23 to 11. Pass goes in to Baker. Oh. Shots up, no good. Rebound, Bailey. Bailey to Lee. Could have been close to picking up her third right there. She tried to reach in and set, bat that ball away. Could have been a cheap foul. Nova Oakley, 16-footer, no good. Libby Baker with the rebound. Libby across the timeline into the front court. Checked by Addison Lee with a forearm shiver almost. Addison's going to pick up the foul. Her second, so Addison Lee picks up her second. Lee will check out right away. Durfee checks in. Both Oakleys, Durfee, Bailey, and Coy on the floor. She may have a bleeding lip. Rams up by 12. Turnover picked up by Nova Oakley. Nova drives. Right side fakes. Kicks it out to a wide open Carly. She fakes a three. Settles for a 15-foot. Foul line jumper, and she nails it. Carly's got six. 25 to 11. Lady Rams on a 14-2 run here to start the fourth or the fourth, the second quarter. Rodriguez tries to drive right baseline. Ball's knocked out, uh, out of bounds away from her. 3.22 to go here in the half. 14-point lead by Tenor. Ball comes in to Baker. Baker, right side corner, Rodriguez. Shot just inside the three-point line. No good. Amelia Coy with another rebound. Carly Oakley brings it across the timeline into the front court. Skip pass to Julia Durfee. Left side fakes a three. Drives left baseline. Floater partially blocked by Baker out of bounds. Checking in is Van Arsdale in for Hilltop. Checking out will be Connolly. Durfee on the inbounds for Tenora. Gets it in to Carly Oakley. Wide open three left side. Too strong. Amelia Coy chases down the rebound. Tries to save it, unfortunately, in the arms of Hilltop. Rodriguez skips it ahead to Baker. Baker fakes a three on the right wing. Now brings the ball back out to the three-point line. Kicks it in the right corner. To Kennedy Bailey, who played quite a bit in the JV game. Emma Bailey picks up the foul. The fourth team foul on the Lady Rams. First on Emma Bailey. Hilltop with 2.45 to go. Inbounds the ball. Went off the face of Amelia Coy. <laughs> it's out of bounds. Her teammates come to the rescue. Are you all right? Are you all right? Way to, to use your head. Big you... grins over there on the bench for the Lady Rams. Ball comes into Hilltop. Van Arsdale and pass down low. Shot up by oh. Crossgrove. Boy. Durfee for that one. Whistle and a foul. Durfee's first. Rams got a little crossed up there on the switch. Couldn't quite get uh, get back in position. First free throw bounces up and bounces in. Crossgrove with her third point. It's 25-12 now. 2.37 to go here in the second quarter. Second free throw was nothing but net. Crossroads got four. Timeout on the floor. Hilltop. 30-second timeout by Coach, Coach uh, 
Corey Grind. It's 25 13, 237 to go. And we'll take a brief timeout and be back right after this. A special thank you to the families of the Schlegel family Schlegel Family Farms, Chris, Becky Kennedy, Ian, and Lucas. And to Laura Kepi, a lifelong Tenora Rams supporter. Another big thanks to Vince Salidas and Michelle Bacon and their family for supporting the Tenora Rams and all of us here at Tenora Rams Live. Back here at Hilltop is 25 13, Lady Rams on top. Hicksville and Montpelier. Hicksville 21, Montpelier 25 minutes to go in the second. Thanks to Matthew for that score. Rams on the inbound. Ball comes into Carly Oakley. Carly in the backcourt gives it to Durfee. Right back to Carly. Cross the timeline. Flips to the head quickly to Nova. Nova drives left side. We have a whistle and a foul on Hilltop. Sophia Crossgrove. I like the way the Rams attack the basket a little bit tonight. They're, they're not pulling up and going back out. They're just going right to the hoop. And you know, they've got a couple of fouls on Baker doing that. And I just got another one right there. Durfee on the inbounds just to the left of her basket. Gets it in to Nova Oakley. Nova drives. Pass down to Bailey who flips it from the left block up and in. Emma Bailey on the scoreboard with her first two. Rams stretch the lead out to 14, 27, 13. 2.15 to go here on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Keith Brown, Coach Fairchild, Dr. AJ with you. Pass down low on the left block to Sophia Crossgrove. Went up for a shot. She was fouled. Durfee's second. Rams is getting into a little bit of foul trouble here too. It's their fifth foul this quarter. Durfee's second free throw line. Crossgrove, first free throw line to the left rim. This one falls off. One more coming for Sophia Crossgrove. The 5'7 freshman. Eyes it, shoots it, and that one just a little bit short and misses everything. Missed everything. Ball go over to Tenora with 2.05 to go, and the Rams lead 27-13. Oakley over to Coy, across the timeline, down low, Emma Bailey. She's triple team, kicks it out to a wide open. Carly Oakley, who drains a three from the top of the three-point arc. Carly Oakley's got nine after shot carts. Brings you that three-point shot. Again, great defense by Oakley and the Lady Rams. Coy tries to work her way through a pick. Rodriguez dials up a three from the right side. Coy yanks down the rebound. Nice game by Amelia Coy so far. Playing well. Nova Oakley fakes a three, drives left baseline, drives right over Baker, and she puts it in. Those two fouls on Baker, all she could do was just stand there. 32-13, Lady Rams by 19. Just four points in this quarter by Hilltop. Lady Rams have exploded for 21. Oh. Ball's knocked out of bounds. They're going to have to call a foul on that far oh, sideline. That was clean. Ouch. That was a, oh, a clean, just tipped it out of bounds. So Nova picks up her second. I said the Rams have long been over the limit. Free throw line, Molly Dickinson, another player looking for her first points, and that free throw falls in. A 5-4 junior lettered as a freshman. Rams are going to see some, a couple of JVers come in here to get about foul trouble. Tatum here. Kreps checks in for Durfee. Kreps, Coy, Bailey. Jaden Sines checked yes, in Jaden Sines Nova. checking in, and Carly Oakley out there. Second free throw was also good. Dickinson has two. 32-15, 1-12 to go here in the half. Carly Gives the ball to Bailey, still in the backcourt, back to Carly. Oakley brings it across the timeline. She's double teamed. Skip pass over to Sines on the left side, down low to Kreps. Kreps loses the handle, a lot of bounds. Turnover on to Nora at the 58 second mark here in the half. Stay tuned. Have the BSN Sports halftime show coming up. Into the front court comes the Cadets. Dickinson over to Baker, over to Baker, who fires a three from the left corner. Shots no good. Rebound chased down in the jump ball. far corner. Jump ball to Sonora. Bailey flips it into Carly Oakley. Carly to Coy. Coy on the left side drives all the way to the basket, oh. brings the ball back out. Bailey. 
hoists up a three. That hits the front of the rim. Rebound, Libby Baker quickly ahead. Baker's pass is intercepted by the Lady Rams. Emma Bailey. Bailey gives the ball to Carly Oakley. 25 seconds to go. Coach Thiel shouts out one. Coy with the ball in the left corner. Back out to Carly Oakley or to Coy. Coy with 15, back to Carly, bounce pass to Bailey on the right side. Signs in the right corner, down low to Coy. Coy loses it, gets it back to Signs, back to Carly. Carly on the right wing, dials up a three with five to go, misses everything. Bailey saves it to Signs. Signs turns around, can't get up a shot at the half here at Hilltop High School. Sonora 32, Hilltop 15, Lady Rams. A 21-point second quarter held Hilltop to just six. We'll be back. BSN Sports Halftime Show. We'll bring you all the numbers. Coach Fairchild will add them up. And we'll be back after a couple words from our sponsors here on Tenora Rams Live. Optimal Performance Fitness is not just your typical gym. Here at OPF, you don't pay for a membership just to hop on a treadmill. We are a fitness coaching center that strives to provide an experience like no other. We provide accountability and results. You either work one-on-one -on -one with a certified personal trainer or in a group setting with like-minded people. Here at OPF, we want to change your mindset of going to the gym into something that you enjoy and look forward to doing. Rather than going to the gym merely to work out, we train at OPF. We are your cheering section, your motivators, and soon to be family. Optimal Performance Fitness strives to help you achieve the best version of yourself. Contact us today to take that first step. It could be life-changing. Stop with all the excuses. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Call Jake at 419-438-7265 and get started today at Optimal Performance Fitness. BSN Sports, the recognized leader in team athletic gear. BSN forms partnerships with educators, coaches, and students to build school pride, student engagement, and community space. Spirit. Our partnerships give you access to the most brand names in the industry with all of the hottest products at the best prices. From Nike to Wilson to Under Armour, we can customize any team needs. Since 1972, BSN Sports has brought you the brands that make you untouchable on the field, the court, or anywhere else you play your sport. Contact BSN local sports rep Jim Gares for any of your sports needs at 419-576-8940. Back here at Hilltop High School, welcome to the BSN Sports Halftime Show, brought to you by BSN Sports and Mr. Jim Gears. JV tonight was won by the Lady Rams 28-13. Haley Jones was a high score with seven before she exited. And last I looked, Haley still had an ice pack attached to the side of her face over there. <laughs> and Madison Spangler for the Lady Rams had 20 big points for Tenora, 20 of the 28 from the JV. At the end of the first quarter here at Hilltop, Lady Rams with an 11-9 lead. And as Coach Fairchild said, as we headed into the second quarter, Rams defense was on lockdown mode. And right out of the bat, Carly Oakley took the initial pass to start the second quarter. She intercepted it and went all the way for a layup. And the second quarter was all the Rams. They had a 32 to 15 lead. And that's where we stand. Coach Fairchild with the individual numbers. Uh, first, we'll start with the Lady Cadets. Molly Dickinson with two, two free throws. Bryn Rodriguez with a five. Libby Baker with two. Uh, Lena Van Arsdale. Uh, Arsdalen, sorry, two. And Sophia Crossgrove with four. For the Rams, kind of spreading around a little bit tonight. Aslan Lee with uh, eight. Carly Oakley with nine. Ewan Lancer with six. Nova Oakley with six. And Emma Bailey with two. Very good first half by the Lady Rams offensively. A little rugged there at times in the first quarter, but that second quarter defense in your face yeah, from... Definitely. So yeah, they definitely took advantage of Baker being on the bench with those two fouls early, and uh, Rams just took off running and just played some stifling defense, and uh, Hilltop didn't have an answer. They did not. And also score at the half from Matthew 23 or 26 23. It's still over Montpelier. So thank you, Matthew, for that score. We'll be back with second half action in about five and a half minutes. Until then, we have a break to a couple of our. Fantastic sponsors will be back right after this here on Tenora Rams Live. Here at Patriot Outdoors Hunting, we are driven by one single goal, to show support to military service members through the therapy of the outdoors. 
Patriot Outdoors Hunting is a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping America's service members after their time on the battlefield has ended. One of the ways we help these brave individuals is through the therapy of the outdoors. If you are a veteran or know a veteran who would enjoy an outdoor experience, please share their name and contact information with us. Patriot Outdoors also invites all veterans to register with us. Each month, we will pick winners of Patriot's outdoor gear, as well as notify veterans of upcoming events. Registering with us will also enter you into our hunts of a lifetime each year. These trips include deer, turkey, and wild boar. To help fund a veteran on an excursion or to donate a product or service to allow more veterans to take part, please contact us at Patriot Outdoors Hunting at gmail.com or call jeremy at 419-579-0427 patriot outdoors hunting connecting veterans with the outdoors home of the free because of the brave brother tacos works endlessly with the help of their kids to bring you the best authentic mexican food to defiance in the surrounding areas brother taco is a family owned and operated catering service and a pop-up food vendor No matter where we are or how we're serving, we have one goal in mind, to make you and your guests feel like family. Please call or text today at 567-344-0055. Brother Tacos is here to share their food with you. Local farmers, do you need the best crop insurance in the area? If so, Hall Crop Insurance is here to help. Contact Agent Chad Hall at 419-576-6140 for all of your crop insurance needs. Underwriter Nikki Geisiger is also available to assist at 866-341-2767. The staff at Hall Crop Insurance takes pride in their ability to serve their customers. If you need to talk to an agent or have questions about your policy, please give Chad or Nikki a call. Hall Crop Insurance wishes the best to all Tenora teams this season. Looking for an opportunity where you can grow your career, be appreciated, and be an owner where you work? Did we say owner? Yes! Mech is an employee-owned company that is highly motivated and actively supports the communities in which our facilities are located. Mayville Engineering needs you. Mech is an employee-owned business where our focus is on our customers' success. Mech has been named the nation's number one fabricator for 12 consecutive years in a survey published by the Fabricator magazine. Join the Mech family today. Full and part-time positions are available. $1,000 sign-on bonus, 401k, vacation and holiday pay, gain sharing program, employee stock ownership, medical, dental, and vision insurance, short-term and long-term disability, and shift premiums for second and third shift. Visit our website, mechinc.com. Click on careers or visit the 21 Seneca Street lobby at the Defiance location. Let's get real here for just a second. If you would die tomorrow, do you know exactly where all your assets that are in your name are going to go? It's never too early to put that plan in place. PI&I has started a new division this year called the Legacy Protectors. We've partnered with a nationwide network of attorneys so we can help facilitate legal estate planning documents at a much lower cost on average than you can get by going directly to an attorney's office. These documents include, but are not limited to, financial and health care power of attorneys, a living will, and a revocable living trust. In most cases, these essential documents are so important to get put in place to ensure that all your assets go exactly where you want them to go after you pass away. Whether it's a family, friends, church, or charity, don't leave those decisions up to a probate court to decide for you. Give us a call today for a free consultation at 419-782-2500 or stop out and see us at 2014 Baltimore Street in Defiance, Ohio. The Legacy Protectors at Postima Insurance and Investments, protecting everything you've worked for. Looking for a venue to host your party? Kyle Nicely of Nicely Rentals and Storage is here to help solve your problem. Located between Defiance and Ayersville, Nicely Rentals and Storage offers a party venue for graduations, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, or any event that meets your needs in the spring, summer, and fall months. In the winter months, Nicely Rentals and Storage offers storage for vehicles, campers, boats, or anything that needs to be stored and protected. Do you need tables and chairs for your party? Kyle can help with that as well. Nicely Rentals and Storage can also help with your move as they now have 
have U-Haul available, give Kyle a call at Nicely Rentals and Storage, 419-439-6177 for booking information. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Back over here at Hilltop High School, Keith Brown, Coach Fairchild, Dr. AJ with us, although Dr. AJ silence. He's over there working on his gadgets here tonight. <laughs> working hard at it. Trying to find something to make everything better. That's, uh, <laughs> Gotta love it. Just plays around with so much stuff. Next thing you know, he stumbles on something like, hey, let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> Halftime scores 32-15. Lady Rams with a great second quarter. First quarter, Lady Rams led by 2-11-9. They exploded for 21 points in the Second quarter, holding Hilltop to six, 32-15 as we start quarter number three here at Hilltop High School. I'm just going to have to be careful here. At, uh, the whole starting crew with two, other than Carly Oakley. Yes, they do. Foul yet, but everybody else has got two, so they're going to be play a little, little uh, cautious, but not too bad. Libby Baker has two, four. Hilltop. And she set most of the first half. She got those two fouls in probably the first 90 seconds. All the way to the bucket. Dickinson has the... Oh. Picked up a cheap foul there. Partially blocked by uh, Julia Durfee, I think. Yeah, Dur Durfee got it. Yep. Nice block by Julia. And then Dickinson picked up the cheap foul. A little frustration foul, yeah. I think, yeah, there by much. Molly Dickinson. <laughs> yeah, it's going to wrap her up. That's her first. The Rams on the attack. Oh, Blanchard. Top of the three-point arc gives the ball back to Carly Oakley. Carly over on the left point to Nova. Nova drives left side, kicks it back to Blanchard. Blanchard between the circles. Looks, goes over to Julia Durfee on the right wing. Julia looking in the right corner to Carly Oakley. Now to Lee. Addison drives. Little floater rim and in. Nice move. Addison Lee. She has 11. 34 15. Oh. Steal by Carly Oakley. Oh, she missed it. She got her own rebound. She has a big smile on her face. Back to Addison Lee off the window and in. Addison with 13. 36 15. Lady Rams by 21. Nova Oakley with a almost steal on the <laughs> Carly, right corner. Carly was laughing as she passed that ball. Back yes, to she Addison. was. <laughs> she <laughs> missed a literally wide open layup with nobody around her. Or than the ref at that end. Baker down low. Nice pass. Over her shoulder to Crossgrove. Ah, Carly picked up her first all. What uh, Libby Baker with just two points tonight. Last year averaged 21. 36 15, 655 to go here in the third quarter. It's a free throw line. The Sophia Crossgrove. She's got four line to the right. First free throw is good. He's got five. Second free throw this time again misses. Second time we've seen that tonight. Yeah. Misses everything on their free throw attempt. Lady Rams take over on the attack. All the way to the bucket. Blanchard throws it up and nice. in. Nice drive by Awen Blanchard. She's got eight. Turnover. Yeah, Hilltop tries to force things. Goes into the far corner. Nobody over there but Lady Rams. Oh, it's Baker that threw that away. Rams on the attack, leading by 22, 38 16. No. Oakley to Lee. Lee drives. Shot up. Oh, no good. Hard. Rebound comes down to Rodriguez. Brings it into the front court to Baker. Baker pulls up on the right wing. Picked up by Durfee. Baker looking, looking fake. Still has it. We're close to a five-second call here. Yeah. Durfee. Oh. Or, or, yeah, Julian knocks it away. Hilltop keeps the possession. I thought that was off of Baker's leg. Oh, not Julius. Like Rodriguez. On the inbounds, flips it into Dickinson. Dickinson, top of the three-point arc. Looks, bounce pass down low to Conley. Conley tries to muscle up a shot. Blanchard's third. So Awen picks up quick foul. She's got eight points, but as Coach Fairchild said, three fouls. Amelia Coy, who played really good in that second quarter, is going to check in. Free throw line to the right. Crossgrove, first free throw. Got it. 
Got six. One more coming for Sophia Crossgrove. It's 38-17, Lady Rams by 21. One more free throw coming. Isa shoots it. Whoops. Got it. <laughs> She's got seven. Crossgrove does. 20 point lead for the Lady Rams, 38 18 at the six minute mark. Durfee to Coy, back to Nova Oakley. Nova Oakley free throw line kicks it in the left wing to Addison Lee. Three pointer off the top of that little strap that yeah. brings the basket up. Second time we've seen that here tonight. Rodriguez flips the ball and stolen by Lee. Lee flips it off the window and in. Addison Lee's got 14. Rams up 40 to 18. Hilltop quickly down. Dickinson looks at the free throw line back to Baker. Baker fakes a three. Baker flips it over on the left or right side to Van Arsdalen. Van Arsdalen off a of Baker pick. Trying to pass down low. Pass is picked off by Julia Durfee. Durfee to Oakley has the ball stolen by Dickinson. Ball's on the floor. Dickinson looking, looking, whistle. Going to have a foul on the Lady Rams. Ooh, that's for Julie's third. Lady Ram is mounting a little bit of foul trouble here. I think Durfee thinks it's a jump ball. Should have been. It looks <laughs> it like been a jump ball, but. Uh, so Durfee heads to the bench with three. Emma Bailey checks in. Bailey, both Oakleys, Lee, and Coy on the floor for the Rams. Ball comes into Van Arsdale and gives it low pass to Baker, but she kicks it out to Dickinson. Her shot is short. Rodriguez tries to save it, she can't. Ball goes over to the Rams, 5.04 to go here in the third. 40 to 18 on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Lady Rams up by 22. Keith Brown, Coach Fairchild, Dr. AJ with you over here at Hilltop. Carly Oakley over on the left wing to Addison Lee. Lee down low to Coy on the left block. Nice pass oh. to Carly Oakley. She got <laughs> tripped and knocked to the hardwood. Gonna have a foul on Hilltop. It's on Dickinson, her second. I tell you, I'm not sure what's going on with Baker tonight. Like she got those two fouls, and she's been kind of timid. Yes, she has. The hoop. Yes. Kind of. Uh, I don't know that she actually has more than the one field goal attempt. Maybe two. Oakley hits the deck on the left corner. He somehow gets the ball to Lee. Lee wrestles the ball away from one of the cadets. Gives it to Carly Oakley. Her shot is blocked, oh, and that's going to be Libby Baker on the foul. Baker. I said, I think she actually loved the area of scoring last year with close to 21 points a game. Free throw line to the left is Carly Oakley. Eyes it, shoots it. Oh, front rim, no good. Carly's got nine, shot 57% from the line last season. Had a high point game of 14 last year at Elmwood. Get her in double digits here. Free throw, up. Oh, that one miss. What is going, going on here tonight? <laughs> that's a, it's like everybody's second shot, like old cross or something. It's like one of those. <laughs> uh, somebody's got a, one of those fans up there that <laughs> the air conditioning comes on or something like the Silverdome used to do. She walked. <laughs> Baker with the ball top of the three-point arc. Flips the ball back behind her to Dickinson. Whoa. Came close. Could have been her fourth. Dickinson off a couple picks in the corner to Crossgrove. She drives, flips it in the left corner. Three-point shot is no good by Rodriguez. Offensive rebound by the Cadets. Dickinson flips it back to Rodriguez on the left block, and she is fouled. Another foul on the Lady Rams. That one's on Emma Bailey. Well, so Emma, Emma's only, only got two. I only got two. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of fouls tonight. 40 to 18, Rams 4-16 to go here in the third. Free throw, first one is no good by Sophia Crossgrove. She's leading all scorers for Hilltop with seven. 5-7 freshman has one more to go. Isaac shoots it, misses, rebound, Millie Coy. I don't know how many rebounds Coy's got tonight, but she's gotta have six or seven. Coy 
to Lee. Addison with the ball in the backcourt. Flips it to Carly Oakley off the top of her head. Carly recovers, brings the ball into the front court. Flips it over to Addison Lee on the left wing. Oh. Fakes the three. Got away with a travel. Yes, nice move, Addison Lee. She's got 16. Uh, we'll get she away from the travel with me. 42 to 18. Lady Rams on top as we hit the 350 mark. Baker with the ball over in the right corner. Passes it to Crossgrove. Back to Baker. Baker inside the three-point arc. Looks to drive on Lee. Addison pokes it away from Baker. <laughs> Honestly, Tony, I think the Rams being physical early on, is kind of t plus the two fouls, has kind of taken Baker out of the game. Yeah, I don't know. She just doesn't look like she's playing like herself. That's for sure. Foul down low. Baker spins, throws up a shot. It's partially blocked by Addison Lee. Call and as you, you heard in the background, another whistle. Referees are going to have to have their cheeks massaged as much as they're blowing the whistle tonight. Third foul on <laughs> Lee, fifth on the Rams. Baker hits the free throw. She's got three. It's only her third point tonight. 42-19, 3.36 to go here in the third. You know she's an explosive ball player, so you got to be yeah. careful yeah, with the fouls can. and everybody to keep her in check because she could, she could turn on the heat in a hurry, I'm sure. Roach checks in. Rodriguez checks out. Baker. 6-2, sophomore, got them both. She's got four. Rams lead by 22, 42-20 at the 330 mark here at Hilltop High School. Coy or Bailey in the right corner, topside Lee. Lee drives to the lane, shot up and good. Down it and a foul. Addison's got 18. She'll look for 19 at the line. So they got her at 19 already. I don't know. I don't think that's right. We'll, we'll check our scoring again. It didn't add up in the JV game either. I got, I got 19. I've got 19. Do you? Okay. Foul shot. Free throw is no good. Rebound. Lee's oh. going to pick up a ticky tack foul. Good Lord, referees. Goodness gracious. Can Molly we, Dickinson. Can we, can we play for two minutes here without a whistle? Karen play for 20 seconds. Madison will be out for a while. That's her fourth. I mean, that's something you should just let go. That had no impact on the play yeah. whatsoever, and it was just barely a ticky tack foul. Wow. Yeah, it's not like she pushed her or anything. It wasn't a... Dickinson over the timeline, looks a drive to the basket, throws up a six-footer, no good. Rebound, Emma Bailey. Bailey double-teamed underneath the hoop. She's grabbed from behind oh. by Crossgrove, and now we have a jump ball. That's, I think that was more of a reach from Crossgrove from behind there. At this rate, we may get out of here by 945. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alternating position gives the ball back to the Rams. 44-20, Rams up with 3.07 to go here in the third quarter. This third quarter started, started, started like an hour ago. <laughs> Carly Oakley into the front court, gives the ball to Durfee. Durfee, right wing, Bailey. Bailey looks down low to Nova Oakley, fakes, shoots, rim, no good. Ball's knocked around, picked up by Hilltop right in front of us in the backcourt. Conley quickly had the Baker. Baker has the ball knocked away from behind by Durfee. Whistle down jump low, ball. jump ball. <laughs> oh, that one will goodness. stay with Hilltop here. 2.41 to go in the third. 24-point lead by the Lady Rams. Rams, Rams got to be careful here with the fouls. They're getting a lot of girls in foul trouble here. You know, three fouls, two, three fouls. Everybody's so got to be careful. Pass down low. Crossgrove cuts to the basket, throws up a shot, and she's fouled. That's Nova's third. Coach Steele's looking down the bench like, hey, can uh, any of you, you girls down here ready to go? Because we're going to need you here in the fourth. Because our starters are going to be fouled out. Yeah, it's uh, referees aren't letting them get away with anything. Free throw by Sophia Crossgrove is good. She's got eight. One more coming for the freshman, Crossgrove. Line to the left or right, shoots it, gets it. She's got nine. Nine, seven of them from the free throw line. Timeout on the floor. Tenora Rams take a timeout. 2.35 to go here in the third quarter. It's 44-22, and we'll be back right after this timeout. Does your golf cart need serviced or need new batteries? Is your golf cart ready for winter? Chad Shock at Aftershock Carts and Equipment, located at 8144 State Route 15 here in Defiance, services all makes and models for gas and electric golf carts. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday, 9 to 5. 784-1806 and online at aftershockcarts.com. 
Looking for an auto body shop with highly skilled technicians and the most advanced equipment in the industry? Then Bat Stevens Body Shop is the right place for you. Bat Stevens will provide you with fine workmanship at a fair price. Our skilled professionals are committed to providing a quality and safe repair on every job like your life depends on it because it truly does. Bat Stevens is an iCar Gold Class Collision Repair Shop, ASE Blue Seal of Excellence Business, and the area's number one body shop voted on by Crescent News Readers. Located in downtown Jewel, Ohio, give us a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate today. Bat Stevens Body Shop says good luck to all Tenora Ram athletic teams and go Rams. Back at Hilltop, Rams on the attack after the time out. They lead 44-22, final 2.30 here in the quarter. It's like the final two minutes of a football game. It's going to take about 30 minutes at this rate. Coy gets the ball from Carly Oakley. Bounce pass to Julia Durfee on the right side. Durfee drives. Shot oh. partially blocked by Baker. Baker has it stolen away by Durfee. Durfee has it poked away, picked up by... And Arsdalen, Durfee steals it back again, comes into the front court on the left side. Julia's on a mission, gives the ball to Carly Oakley in the left corner. Skip past to Coy on the right wing, down low Bailey. Bailey turns on Baker, now she skips it out to Oakley. Nova just inside the free throw line, gives the ball to Coy. Coy drives, runner up and in. Amelia Coy in the scorebook with her first two. Nice play by Amelia. Yeah. She's played really well tonight. Scorebook doesn't show, but defensively he's been playing fantastic. 46-22, Rams by 24, final 90 seconds here in quarter number three. Van Arsdale in on the left wing. Coy, bodies are up. Back to Baker, Baker top of the three-point arc. Turns around, wants to hand it to Dickinson. Now she finally does. Dickinson brings the ball back out. Get some instructions from head coach Grinor there. Dickinson looks for Baker. Pass is intercepted by Carly Oakley. Carly into the front court. Top of the three-point arc. Julia Durfee doing a great job underneath there with Baker you know, holding her out. Durfee drives. Hits the underside of the basket on the shot. She is fouled by Crossgrove. Should be a two-shot foul. And it is. Both teams now win the bonus with five. Well, Rams have definitely more than five fouls this quarter. Yeah, that's Crossroads third. Look up the scoreboard. You see fouls. Three, 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 two, three, two, <laughs> one. This is for both teams. Free throw is in and out. Come on, Rams. Julia Durfee. Got to make our free throws. There's one more coming. Julia looking for her first points tonight. But as Coach Fairchild said, playing fantastic defense. Yeah, she did a nice job down underneath on, on Baker. That's what they were trying to look to get the ball underneath her. And uh, Julia did a nice job of boxing her out. The ball went over the top of her head. 46-22, 53 seconds to go. Free throw by Durfee is good. Her first points. Dickinson across the timeline, throws it to Rodriguez. It's through her fingertips, picked up by Lady Rams. Nova Oakley to Durfee underneath the hoop. Kicks it back to Coy, who nails a 12-footer. Nice save by Julia. Coy just spotted up and hit it. It's 49-22. Baker flips it out to Dickinson. Dickinson over to Root. Back to Rodriguez, who flips it to Dickinson. 20 seconds to go. Dickinson resets the offense. Good defense by Carly Oakley over on the right side That's to Rodriguez. Pass down low intended for Baker. Knocked away by Durfee. Again, <laughs> Julia. Just playing tough underneath. Like glue. It's like that stick him. Baker's starting to get a little frustrated, too. Yes, she is. She stuck her knee out there once on one of those blocks or this. She dials up a three from the right side. Baker does. It's no good. Rebound comes down to Bailey. She hits the deck with Dickinson. <laughs> Dickinson on her hip. <laughs> it's going to have, I assume that's a jump ball. Oh, no, they called it a travel. Holy did What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, so Hilltop on the turnover. Rodriguez slips it into Baker, who gives it right back to Rodriguez. She fires up a three from the right wing at the buzzer. It's no good. After three, mercifully here at Hilltop, the third quarter has ended. It's 49 to 22, not because of bad play, but we just had to whistle every 17 seconds. Whew. Drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Rams lead by 27. And we'll be back after this here on Tenora Rams Live. Brother Tacos works endlessly with the help of their kids to bring you the best authentic Mexican food to Defiance and the surrounding areas. Brother Taco is a family-owned and operated catering service and a pop-up food vendor. 
No matter where we are or how we're serving, we have one goal in mind, to make you and your guests feel like family. Please call or text today at 567-344-0055. Brother Tacos is here to share their food with you. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. 38-33 Mount Pillar boys over in Hicksville at the end of three. Here's 49-22. Lady Rams up by 27. Heck of a performance offensively and defensively tonight for Tenora Lady Rams. Yeah, the Rams have been playing awesome. Uh, uh, defensively, just shutting down Hilltop for the most part. Rams get the possession to start the fourth quarter here on your cut in. College Hair Nail Salon broadcast booth. Addison Lee oh. dials up a three from the left wing, and she nails it. Addison's got a career high 22. of 22. Turnover in the backcourt picked up by Carly Oakley. It's 52-22. Lady Rams by 30. Oh, a lazy pass is picked off by Hilltops Rodriguez. She drives all the way to the oh, basket, come on. throws it up and in, and she is apparently fouled by Carly Oakley. No, by Blanchard. Or Blanchard. I is it Blanchard? Yeah, Blanchard had her arm straight up and down, didn't even do anything. <laughs> Seven points now by Rodriguez. She's going to head to the free throw line where she'll try and convert to three point play. Oh, my goodness. Checking in for Hilltop is Kennedy Bailey. As we said, we saw quite a bit of her during the JV contest. Yeah, like you said, Keith, a little bit of a lazy pass. Wasn't really paying attention to where everybody was at and just kind of tossed it over there. And Brynn did a nice job of stepping in front of that and taking it to the hoop, but uh, I don't really agree with the foul. The <laughs> didn't do anything there. Not at Basically all. stepped back and let her have it. Free throw, rim, and in. Brynn Rodriguez has eight. 52-25, 7-23, and winding here in quarter number three, or four. Good Lord, we finally got to the third quarter. Durfee oh. drives and throws it up from the left block. Nice move, Julia Durfee. She's got three. Lady Rams up 54-25, seven and winding. Pass down low to Baker, shot off the window, no good. Durfee with the rebound, jump ball, alternating nice possession. Job. Nice job by Julia Durfee coming in there and getting that. Hilltop on the inbounds just to the left of their basket. Comes in. Crossgrove. I thought that was a shot or she just lost it. Rebound picked up by Nova Oakley. All the way to the basket. Nova uncontested. Throws it up and in. First basket of the second half for Nova. She's got eight. 56-25. Lady Rams up at the 640 mark here in quarter three. Baker flips it to Crossgrove. Flips it back to Baker. Baker loses the handle. Has to go chase it down by the half court stripe. Bailey drives all the way to the basket. Shot no good. Rebound. Crossgrove. Almost a jump ball there. Blanchard and Crossgrove seem to both have Blanchard possession. Gone. Blanchard will be gone. I think that's her fifth. So Blanchard fouls out with... <laughs> Let all that go underneath the basket right there until, she yeah. let, until the ball's already caught out of both her hands. Blanchard the foul. with eight. Very nice game for her when she was on the floor, unfortunately, yeah. with the tight whistles here tonight. Couldn't stay yeah. on the floor. And Baker just walked backwards there. That should have been a walk. Pass down low to Baker. Shot. No good foul. Coy. So Coy joins the foul parade. <laughs> Yeah, just keep, hey, just keep keep going. Make him earn them. That's her first That's our team's third. third already. We're not even 30 seconds into the third quarter. Inbound comes in to Bailey. She nails it. That's her first three here in the varsity game. 56-28, all the way to the basket. Julia Durfee off the window and in. Julia's got five, 58-28, Rams by 30. Final six minutes to go here at Hilltop. Three-pointer by Bailey, left wing, no good. Baker on the offensive Ooh. foul, pushing them back. Julia Durfee, good position by Julia. It's gonna be her fourth. Boy, the referees aren't letting anything go tonight. Stay tuned, after the game, Bidlack. Insurance and Investments post game followed by Higby Embroidery Player of the Game. 
Stay tuned. We might be playing with four on each side. Eight <laughs> <laughs> or less. Durfee drives the right side, kicks it back to Lee. Lee spins, kicks it to Nova Oakley. Oakley to the basket, oh up and gosh. in. Nice drive by Nova. She's got 10. 60-28, Lady Rams. Oh, that's a... Bailey crashes oh. into Nova Oakley, and Nova kind of smiles like, wow, they let that one go? I was going to say, that one's not a foul. Uh, 527 to go here in the fourth quarter. Rams by 32. Oh, yeah, Ball came in to Bailey, and as Coach said, she stepped just enough on the red. But that's a turnover over and back. Lady Rams with the possession. 526 to go. Leading 60 to 28. Carly Oakley with the ball over on the right wing. Looking, looking, looking. Finally floats it out to Durfee at the half court strike. Durfee to Addison Lee. Lee looks to drive. Kicks in the right corner. Carly Oakley drives. Little floater. No good, but we have a whistle on her shot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, Foul will be on Hilltop. The referee from a clear across the court called that foul, and the guy right underneath the basket there did not. Not sure they put the foul up yet. But Carly Oakley at the free throw line, line to the left, first free throw was no good. I think he said it was on number one, which had been Dickinson. That's probably why they're not putting it up because her number's not on the board. That's right. One more coming for Carly. Carly's got nine. She needs one more for double digits. Eyes it, shoots it. That one. Oh my gosh. Misses for the fourth or that's, fifth that's time the tonight. Time she's done that. Free throw here tonight was missed. I guess, she's, I guess she's not supposed to get double digits or something. Oh, a turnover. Turnover as Dickinson can't handle the inbound pass, and Rams will get the possession back, leading 60 to 28, 506 to go here in the fourth quarter on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Durfee takes the inbound, drives baseline shot from the left side is rejected by Rodriguez. Rodriguez or Baker they got that? I couldn't tell. I think Rodriguez got it on the way up. Durfee on the inbound for Tenora. Just to the right of the basket. Nice pass down low. Shot up and in. Count it and a foul. It's in double digits now. Carly Oakley with 11 will look for 12 at the line. 62-28. Lady Rams lead. 5-0-1 to go here in the fourth quarter. Free throw for Carly. Eyes it. Shoots it. A little too strong. Anderson Lee chases down the rebound in the far corner. Girls game, Swanton 48, Fayette 40, final. Thank you, Michael. On the inbounds, Hilltop just throws it away. Carly Oakley chases it down. What a, oh. What? She established position, I thought, back inbounds. Yeah, she was inbounds, clearly inbounds. What a heck of a play by Carly. I'm not She's, sure what this guy saw. She was clearly inbounds. She reestablished her position to yeah. get it back in. Oh my word! It's not the NFL. She can't. Doesn't. Not the first person to touch the ball. <laughs> that was a great save by Carly. Yeah. <laughs> that was athletic as heck. Baker dials up a three. No good. Offensive rebound. Dickinson. She loses it. Shot by Rodriguez. Is blocked. Picked up by Addison Lee. She comes out swinging elbows. We're going to have a foul underneath. It's on Crossgrove. That'll be her fourth. 62-28, Lady Rams up, 4.42 to go. It's kind of coming to one of those points. I think not everybody's going to have four fouls. <laughs> <laughs> not sure if Coach uh, Steele or Casey Knowles has any eligibility left, but they may be suiting up here before it's all over. Uh, <laughs> uh, Coy on the uh, left wing is the ball to Lee. Lee looks to drive left side, shot up. Just misses it. Rebound Baker. Baker across the timeline on the right side. Drives on Bailey all the way to the basket. Shot blocked by Carly. Not sure who's the foul's on. He's going on Bailey. Now they're going to give it on Emma Bailey. It's her third. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't keep track of individual fouls, but Four. we've had to have 40 fouls called. Four minutes to go yet. Free throw by Libby Baker's good. She's got five. One more coming for Libby. 62-29, 4.21 to go here in the fourth quarter. On drop zone pizza, race scoreboard. Baker gets them both. She's got six. Timeout on the floor. We just have a, yeah, we have a timeout on the floor. 
Hilltop. 30-second timeout, 421 to go, 62 to 30. We'll be back after this here on Tenora Rams Live. Okalona Tavern, located in downtown Okalona, is the home of the famous Oki Tavern Wings. Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy an ice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Okalona Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Okalona Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Here comes more Tenora Rams sports action. Back here at Hilltop High School, Keith Brown, Coach Fairchild, Dr. AJ with you. Make sure you stop out and see Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla, 100 Stadium Drive. Book an appointment if your bones are aching. Tell you what, if you got a headache, that's the place to go. Yes. Dr. AJ, fix you up. Fairchild Family Chiropractic on Facebook. Book an appointment right there. You never got to talk to anybody. <laughs> Turn over. Hilltop into the front court. Rodriguez over to Bailey. Bailey loses the handle. Bailey on Bailey. Jump ball goes over to Tenora. 3.56 to go. 62-30. Actually, that was Kreps. Curl scores. Delta 55. Ottawa Hills 20. That's a final. Coy to Carly Oakley. Back to Coy over on the right wing. Have a kick ball, I think. Yeah. Lady Rams back in action Thursday at home versus Continental. That's going to be an early J or early varsity start because the JV I heard is just two quarters. And then Friday will be a Delta for the boys. Saturday going to have a huge crowd at home. Napoleon will come visit, and the boys played a heck of a game Friday. Friday, Saturday over at Brian just unfortunately came up on the short end of the stick in the last seconds there, but Josh Lieb had 14 in his freshman debut. Foul here on Hilltop as Nova Oakley will head to the free throw. <laughs> yes, it is. She's so she's the officially the first one to foul out. <laughs> so she's going to foul out with two. Actually, uh, fouled out. Uh, Blanchard fouled out first. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's Blanchard fouled out. That was like first. three minutes ago. First 20, 20 minutes on the clock. First free throw by Nova is good. She's got 11. One more coming for Oakley. 63 30. 3 and 23 to go. Jaden Sines will check in next. Free throw by Nova is no good. A little too strong. Rebound. Rodriguez quickly ahead into the front court. Bailey in the left corner. Down low to Baker. Baker works on to walk. Uh, no huh. walk. Foul on. I'm not sure who's going to pick this one up. Uh, I Coy. It's Coy. So Amelia picks up her second. Rams is well over the. Well, she's not to three yet. So we got five. Go. <laughs> yeah, we got to hear her three like everybody else in the scorebook. Baker's free throw was good. She now has seven. All these are from the line. She only has one two point field goal tonight. But, Five points in the second half of all from the line. Checking in. Julia Durfee checking out. And Durfee. And Madison Spangler checking in. Yes. Durfee, one heck of a game defensively. Baker shot up and good. She's got eight. 63-32, final. 3-10 to go. Signs into the front court. Gives the ball to Coy. Back to Jaden. Over to Bailey. Coy with the ball over on the right point. Coy is still drilling on the right point. Gets the ball back to Jaden Sines. 250 and winding here. Emma Bailey on the left wing over to Coy. Now to Sines. Sines down low to Kreps. Kreps oh. has a shot blocked by Bailey. Gonna have a foul on. Spangler came in and picked her for a foul yeah. up real quick. He's like, I gotta, I just checked in. Let me get in this foul. Well, that was close to Baker's fifth right there. I thought she got, I thought she got her in the arm. So to the free throw line will be Sophia Crossgrove. We're gonna have to repaint the stripes after the game because they're gonna be worn now. She's got nine. <laughs> gonna have to replace those boards at the free throw line. Gee whiz. Free throw is too strong. No good. <laughs> gonna have a groove cut in those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's supposed to be a nail there, you can see, but I don't know if you're going to be able to find the nail. Worn off. 
63-32, Rams with the lead by 31. Free throw up, rim, no good. Rebound, Bailey. Bailey to sign, signs in the backcourt. Jaden comes across the timeline into the front court. Over to Coy on the left wing. Coy bounce pass to Bailey at the right point. Back to Jaden signs, signs ball overhead. Rams a little bit of four corners here, gives the ball to Coy. Coy double team, gives the ball to Jaden. Signs to Kreps, Kreps with the 17 footer, no good. Baker had the ball, signs wound up with it. Jaden hits the deck. She's gonna head to the free throw line. Foul is gonna go against Hilltop. Kinsley, I'm not, how do you pronounce that, Root? Kinsley Root. So she picks up her first. Free throw line is Jaden Signs. First free throw is good. So Jaden in the books. She had one in the JV game and she got one in the varsity. Sophomore. Jaden Signs. Ties it. Shoots it. Hits it. Jaden's got two. 65 32. Rams on top. Final two minutes to go here. Spangler tips it away. Headed it away there. Nice. Into the hilltop bench on the far side. So Spangler's wearing number four here instead of five because that's Addison Lee's number of varsity. Pass down low. Crossgrove shot. Partially blocked, I think, by Krebs. Picked up by Spangler. Gives the ball to Signs. 150 and winding here at Hilltop. Lady Rams firm control with a 32 point lead. Rams with 32 points at the half have 33 here in the second half. And they will be going to the line shooting two. That foul is on Kinsley Root. My voice is getting exhausted here. <laughs> Bailey's free throw was no good. Boy. We'll have Dr. AJ finish the play-by-play -play here in the last 90 seconds. We are terrible from, <laughs> gonna, we're terrible from the foul line, though, Keith. Gee whiz. Second free throw by Emma Bailey. Oh, that one in and out, no good. Rebound comes down to Hilltop. Crossgrove into the front court. Top side, Baker. Baker fakes, drives, floater. Rim, no good. Rebound, Amelia Coy. Coy double team, tries to get out of it. Flips the ball to Kreps. Gonna have a whistle on the pass off. 30 second timeout by Coach Steele. 65-32, 119 to go here in the fourth quarter. Take a tiny timeout and be back right after this. For any of your auto body or collision needs, be sure to check out Banton Stevens Body Shop. Give them a call today at 419-497-3111 to schedule your free estimate. Here comes more Tenora Ram Sports action. Uh, coming out of the timeout, Rams with that 33-point lead. Jaden Signs, Emilia Coy, Madison Spangler, Emma Bailey, and Tatum Kreps. Basically the JV starters her on the floor right now for Sonora. Libby Baker, Kinsley Rout. Um, Kennedy Bailey on the floor along with Connolly for Hilltop and Crossgrove. Emma Bailey, top of the three-pointer, gives the ball back to Jaden Signs over on the right point to Coy. Coy picks up her dribble pass. Tended for Spangler. Baker went over the top, knocked it away. Baker with the ball on the right wing, trying to drive on Bailey. Baker, top of the timeline, kicks in the corner. Bailey's three-pointer, no good. Offensive rebound by Crossgrove, it's no good. Picked up by Spangler of Tenora. Gives the ball back to Jaden Sines. Final 30 seconds to go. 65-32 here at Hilltop High School. Pass down to Kreps on the left block. Kicks it back out to Bailey. Emma Bailey to Coy. Coy at the right point. Flips it on the left point to Jaden Sines. Sines hands the ball to Coy and off her knee. Picked up in the backcourt by Crossgrove. She drives on Coy, throws it up. No good. Whistle and foul. 
9.2 seconds to go to the free throw line goes Guess Sophia what? Crossgrove. Guess what? That's Coy's third. <laughs> Coy picked up three fouls. <laughs> three fouls, four points. First free throw line to the right by Sophia Crossgrove. She's got nine. She's trying to get into the double digits. That one's in and out. No good. One more coming for Crossgrove. Eyes it, shoots it. Short, no good. Ball's on the floor, picked up by Jaden Sines. Sines in the backcourt, into the front court. Pass to Coy, knocked into the scores table. Where there, Miss Barb Weekers, 40 years behind that table, Coach Fairchild. Yeah. She was punching meal tickets when we were in school. Yes, to say, she was. <laughs> <laughs> Which was, we're not going to say, a long time ago. Yeah, long time ago. Final from Hilltop. The Rams pick up their first one of the season with a 65-32 win over the cadets of Hilltop. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We're going to have the Bidlack Insurance and Investments postgame show, and we will do it right after this time out. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenora Rams athletes this season. Back at Tenora High School, welcome to the Bidlack Insurance and Investment Scoreboard. Rams pick up their first one of the season. They improve to 1-1. One one. Hilltop falls to 0-4, oh very surprisingly. Rams led after 1, 11-9. Then after that, the Rams were on a mission. They led the half, 32-15. They led after 3, 49-22. Final, 65-32. JV game tonight was won by Tenora 28-13 in the JV game Madison Spangler led the Lady Rams with 20 and Haley Jones had 7 before she exited with a bruised face which I didn't see Haley with the ice bag on but stand down right down here in front it's not as bad as it was not as bad as it was yeah, her and uh, Kaylin March I think collided heads about midway through the Second quarter. Yeah, she's standing down here in front of us. It's not red anymore. So I like she's got a little bit of a shiner. It's a little bit of pause. She's going to have a shiner in the morning. Yeah, Somebody's definitely. taking some photos of her <laughs> from your mom or somebody. But final numbers, Coach Fairchild, scoring for Tenora and Hilltop. Uh, we'll start with the Lady Cadets. Uh, Molly Dickinson with two, Bryn Rodriguez with eight, Libby Baker with only eight, didn't even get double digits. And most of she only had one two-point field goal yeah. that was in the first half. Yeah, the other the other six were from the line. Um, Elena Van Ars Arsdalen had two, Sophia Crossgrove had nine, and seven of those were from the free throw line. Keith. So, um, and Kennedy Bailey with three. For the Rams, I tell you what, Keith, this is probably the most I've ever seen the Rams spread the ball around. Yes, very much so. Three players in double digits. Um, Emma Bailey with two, Jaden Sines with two, Amelia Coy with four, Julia Durfee with five, but played fantastic defense. Uh, Owen Blanchard with eight, um, and then Nova Oakley and Carly Oakley both with 11, and Addison Lee led all scorers tonight with 22. Yes. So great game by the Lady Rams. Um, from the get-go, as we noticed, uh, tough in-your-face defense, and that pretty much um, was that to the end of the game. Yeah. A little, little overzealous on the fouls here tonight. We were, were kind of kidding, but goodness gracious, it was a long game. Yeah. I don't know how many fouls there was, but there had to have been about 40 total. I tell you <laughs> what, the Rams play like that at the, the you know, in Defiance next week, Keith. That's oh, they, yeah, they can definitely, absolutely, they could definitely come yep. with some victory there, but. Um, man, the defense was 
was uh, top notch tonight. Yep. Stop out Thursday. Lady Rams will be home versus Continental. Two quarters for the JV. So the varsity probably started about seven, or even before that, actually. Yeah, maybe before that. Should start. 6.45-ish. Probably. So stop out. And then Saturday we'll be back at home. Stop out and see the boys play host Napoleon. Stay tuned. We'll have the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game right after this. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much, much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery also offers custom artwork if it is needed to complete your project. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street right here in Defiance, Ohio. Contact them at 419 419- 428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. If you are looking for a customizable item, Higby Embroidery is your place. Higby Embroidery, a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award. Back here at one final time at Hilltop. Rams with a 65-32 win, improved to one and win. Welcome to the Higby Embroidery Player of the Game Award. Really, not really a tough decision. Kind of had it going through my mind, and I'm sure you did as the game went on. We're like, wow, we have possibility of having two players of the game tonight, in which we decided <laughs> that's our award. So we're going to give two players of the game awards tonight. And who did we have, Coach? First one goes to Addison Lee for throwing in 22 points and, and playing great defense against uh, Libby Baker. But uh, the second one's going to go to Julia Durfee. Addison got a little bit of foul trouble. And Julia came in and just continued to shut down Baker and um, didn't let her get any shots from the, from the from the field. So, Yeah, mind you, for those of you unfamiliar with Hilltop, Libby Baker's just a, a junior. She's let her two years and... Lettered as a sophomore and a freshman. Yes. And averaged 20.8 points a game last year. And the Lady Rams tonight held her to one field goal and eight total points. So a great shutdown job by Julia and Addison Lee on Libby Baker. And Ram defensively as a whole, I mean, he had to be here, which you can watch it later tonight. I could have given, we... given it to four of them. I mean, yeah, we could. Because I tell you <laughs> what, could. Carly and Nova played well, too. Yes, they both, did. Both double ditch, and Carly was handsy and came away with, I don't know, four or five, maybe more steals. I don't know. But uh, starting the second half there, we still the opening – Opening uh, was it the second half or yeah, second quarter? Opening, opening so stole the second. The opening yep. pass took it for <laughs> took it for two. So um, just could have given it to the whole team, I suppose. But anyway, yeah, very. Uh, if, the, if the Lady Rams play like they did tonight, they're going to win a lot of games this season. Yeah, they just need to keep that intensity up, yep. and, and uh, hopefully, they, hopefully they can keep, continue that. Thanks for joining us, and thanks again to our sponsors, as always, Fairchild Family Chiropractic. Stop out and see Dr. Kayla and Dr. AJ. Make sure you book your appointment. You can do that online. Just go to Facebook page, Fairchild Family Chiropractic. And Optimal Performance Fitness, Clubhouse Pizza, and they bat and Stevens, Tenora Rams Athletic Boosters, Wooden Indian Pawn Shop, Midlake Insurance and Financial Services, Cut and Polished Hair and Nail Salon, Weber Bookkeeping, Hall Crop Insurance, Signs Excavating, Higby Embroidery, Drop Zone Pizzeria and Striker, and Earsville, Wiener Hill and Weber, and Stanley Attorneys at Law, Oklahoma Tavern, Maumee Valley Tidal Agency, BSN Sports, Firestone Tavern, Postum Insurance and Investments, Northwest Ohio Sports, Brother Taco, Schlegel Farms, thanks Chris and Becky, Vince Salinas, Michelle Bacon, and our biggest Ram fan, Laura Kepi, Kevin Weber of Weber Materials, Prosperity Painting, Nicely Storage and Rentals, Patriot Outdoors Hunting, and Aftershock Carts and Equipment. Thank you, Chad Shock. And as always, our commercials brought to you by our voice, Michael Hearn. Any final thoughts, Coach? No. Hey, see everybody Thursday night. yep Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for listening to 